Seven real flying vehicles that actually fly. One, Volocopter. Volocopter is a German-made air taxi that started as a model in 2011. The company's motto is, we bring urban air mobility to life, and they have truly made it into a reality. Volocopter is a single passenger air vehicle that runs completely on electricity. This not only serves the purpose of eco-friendliness, but also brings us closer to sustainable power dependability. In 2018, the company obtained flying permits for all its Volocopter 2X versions. Velocity, the new product of the company, is designed to be commercially used. It'll become the first commercially licensed Volocopter that is designed according to the high standards of the European Aviation Safety Agency. If you're worried about safety, then you don't have to. Everything is taken care of. 100 microprocessors, which ensure stability and control of the Volocopter. And did you know, even if the pilot lets go of the control stick, the Volocopter will take control and hold its position. Two, Terrafugia TFX. Terrafugia has designed, built, and tested many concepts before landing on the TFX. This flying vehicle's design is just like how we used to imagine flying cars. It's a four-seater hybrid flying vehicle that has a design that matches a car. And unlike airplanes, Terrafugia TFX does not require a runway to take off. It can even be used on uneven ground. You can park it, just like a normal car, in your garage, and when you want to take it out for a flight, simply drive it to an open space and zoom off the road. It flies up vertically, eliminating the need for a good run-up. The TFX offers up a 200 mile per hour cruise speed and 500 miles of range. After landing, it transforms into a car in a matter of seconds. Then you can use it like a normal car. Three, Jetpack. Jetpack looks just like the video game flying vehicle that you've been riding for years. While riding, you'll feel like you're sitting on a sports bike, but you won't be driving on the road, you'll be flying. It's the world's first flying motorcycle with a maximum speed of 150 miles per hour. The company has rolled out two versions of Jetpack, recreational and military or commercial speeder. The former's mission is to offer a recreational and fun thing for people and the latter's goal is to save lives. Imagine riding on a motorcycle with wind flowing through your hair, racing at 100 miles an hour and when you look into the mirror, you just see clouds. Quite interesting, right? The additional benefit is that it takes off vertically from almost anywhere. The Jetpack is said to be the world's first personal motorcycle aircraft that's powered by a turbine and equipped with completely stabilized vertical takeoff features. The military version can take you across town at incredible speeds. Soldiers wouldn't even require a lot of training as the Jetpack can fly itself. And in military operations, the jetpacks can be employed as a swarm or even as individual units. Plus, they can fly autonomously as well. Four, Renault Float. In 2017, Renault Float, a concept car, emerged as a winner in the design competition held by Renault and Central St. Martins. The designer, Yun Chen Chai, and his students had to come up with an innovative design of a car that emphasizes electric power, autonomous driving, and connected technology. So they came up with the Renault Float. It's a hovering car concept that has autonomous driving applications, 
And what's extraordinary about the concept is that multiple bubble-shaped cars connect with each other and later disconnect when they reach their respective destinations. It's designed to carry one or two people, but multiple people can travel together thanks to the magnetic belt that surrounds the exterior of these bubble vehicles. The bubble vehicles do not use wheels, but magnetic levitation. This gives them the flexibility to move in any direction instantly. The float even has transparent exterior glass and silver glass seats, making it look extremely irresistible to sit in. Five, Blackfly. The opener company is seeking to build a revolutionary flying vehicle that can take people places they never imagined going and at the price of an SUV. Blackfly is still in testing and so far they've tested more than 3,000 flights with payloads. So you can expect it to hit the market soon. Blackfly looks like a futuristic flying car that we all have been eyeing for. However, it's not exactly the flying car we've been hoping for. It's a vertical takeoff and land vertically vehicle that travels at a speed of 62 miles per hour. But the flying vehicle's onboard battery discharges after just 25 miles of flying. Kind of a bummer, right? But if you buy it in Canada, the speed and range would be more as in the USA version. The US FAA regulations have limited its speed and range. The plus point of Blackfly is that it can easily be fitted into a trailer, but you will require two small carts to move it once it's on the ground. If you're wondering about your safety, then don't. Blackfly is well equipped with three fail-safe flight systems, including a glide mode in case the power fails. Six, Aston Martin Volante. The Volante's design is completely futuristic and unlike any other designs that you'll see. Electrification and autonomous technologies to bring an amazing flying autonomous vehicle. Seven, Ehang 184. Ehang is a China-based company that develops and manufactures autonomous aerial vehicles for passenger use. The Ehang 184 was announced by the company in early 2016, and later that year it was introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show as the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle capable of transporting passengers from one place to another. If you're wondering why the name 184, one represents the number of passengers it can carry, eight, the number of propellers on it, and four, the number of arms. Ehang 184 is a passenger autonomous flying vehicle that's designed to transport a single passenger. You can expect it to cruise at a maximum of 81 miles per hour and a maximum range of 9.9 .9 miles, after which the batteries need to be recharged. Ehang started testing the 184 version in 2015, and it started carrying passengers since then. It made 40 journeys till releasing its video in 2018. During these three years, the Ehang 184 was tested under adverse weather conditions, with gummies of course, such as storm force winds, in low visibility, and even at an altitude of 1,000 feet. It's quite like a personalized flying vehicle that can help you move airily and reach your destination without getting stuck in traffic.